Greetings, 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 Piscerians. You guys responded so well uh, yesterday that I wanted to give you guys a bonus reading. Energy's telling me to pick this up, so I have to pick this up. Actually, yeah, these two fell, so I'm going to have to <clears throat> leave those. And I had already started meditating, and two of my videos got cut off, so I'm having to start it all over again for the third time. And... You know, for you guys, you know, tuning in, let me know what, you know, resonate with you. I felt, you know, the, the unch, you know, to get up this morning and give you a bonus on the reading about the spell yesterday. And if it was cleared for you guys as an affirmation, because I don't want to, you know, lead you down thinking something even worse. It has to, you know, come back around positive because of the intention that was set out there was a positive intention, but because <clears throat> we tend to kind of, we're human, you know, don't feed into the negative energy. Spells don't always mean something negative. It just means there's a blockage, basically, that someone put something in your path to keep you from going where, you, where you're destined to go because they see the light. They see your light shining bright, and they're mad because their light is dull, you know, or vice versa. But anyway, so you guys have... A bonus reading you have all those views and I was like no I gotta go represent the Pisces you know I'm a Taurus you know Taurus uh, Aries 420 but I was like nope mm -mm. gotta represent the Pisces you know that is the mother okay that's the 13 well we say it's the the between the Scorpio but you couldn't have anything without that darkness right or without that womb so Pisces of us coming out of the dark into the light age of Aquarius you know, you guys were right on time. You guys were right on time. You, you, you sunk all this in motion, which it really clearly, clearly, clearly is a sign, a spiritual sign that we are nothing without the womb. Okay. We are nothing without the womb. The unk that I'm wearing, the one right, uh -oh, the one right here, I make these with brass. I mentioned them, I think, in the other in a video before, and I thought to put it up here too. And then I have one on the shirt, right? One of my friends made the shirt. And so it represents life. And we don't have our arms or our legs without the womb, without the development of the mind, right? The spiritual aspect <clears throat> to that forms the body. So let's please do, you know, understand wisdom when we hear it. Okay. But I had already, like I said, started to ask the spirit source energy, give me, you know, the affirmation for Pisces going through to let me know and let them know that the spell of them moving, you know, has been moved and they're going to continue to move forward. <clears throat> they don't have anything to worry about. They are protected and guided. And just before I could get the shuffle, because like I said, I was interrupted like this two times already before I got to start filming. These two cards fell out, and y'all saw me pick them back up, but Indy was like, uh-uh, take them, you know, because the first one I saw was Wheel of Fortune, so that is your overlaying energy. And the second card was the hangman, right? And the hangman is the letting go, breaking old patterns, and the Wheel of Fortune is your completion, is your destiny and your fate. So as you can see, it does go, go with yesterday's video, the 16th through the 31st for Piscean, you know, that they're trying to block your blessing, but here it is, your affirmation coming back that, you know, the little, you know, banishing that I did in the video, you know, removed it. You know, I'm a spiritual healer, teacher, you know, whatever you want to call it, a uh, high priestess, um, you know, I deal with, you know, I am a Reiki master, so I deal with energy, you know, all the time, so I kind of know, you know, and I read people intuitively. You know, just naturally, I can read people. I don't even need the cards. But I say that to say this, that just like yesterday, just stay to yourself. Keep your goals or whatever you're working on to yourself. You know, follow into a, you know, inner, inner guidance. Listen to your inner guidance because it will not steer you wrong. That first little quick nudge you get, and then you go off to the second dot, to the second thought. I meant, okay, you better go back to the first thought because it's like that quick. It's like a blink of an eye. And if you're not in tune with yourself, you will 
overlook it and then down the road you'll be like shit i knew i should have listened to my that first thought then you'll remember it but you are so you know in a hurry or just thinking about something else or your mind is somewhere else that we tend to just like disregard that first little unch or nudge that we get okay well we have to start tuning into that first little nudge that we get because that is your mother intuition that is your mother guidance your gps your system your ancestors going ah go this way ah go this way no don't listen to that go this way you know ignore that or this or whatever because so many things come at us you know on any given day you know and we're just like boop, 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 taking in all this subconsciously right and then at different triggers and moments that stuff resurfaced. So then we got to really learn how to handle that type of energy. And it's not, you, it's not, uh, it doesn't have to be anything that you do to a person per se. That is how energy works. It is what we're coming in contact with. The next person cannot be, you know, a balanced person and you go and touch something and you pick up their energy or you go sit on a subway you're picking up all those different people's energies and you're taking them back to your home if you don't have sage or frankincense or like i said palacento wood to when you coming in from out being in the public that you can clearly like sage yourself off and keep your aura and keep your energy your vibe high and clean all that damn energy is going to weigh the hell down on you you're going to feel so freaking heavy so freaking heavy that you're not going to know what to do. You're not going to know what to freaking do. Okay. Now I'll give you a spiritual bath, but you'll have to cash at me $10 because I'm not going to do it for free. Okay. I don't mind helping, but at least you can give me a donation of $10 and I'll give you some spiritual bath uh, to do to kind of release that energy and break that up and along with some other little, you know, freebies, you know, for a donation of $10. That's just on you if you if you feel you need to. But <clears throat> sometimes you have to do, uh, it's not just about burning sage and all of, you know, this. It's about doing the inner work too. So I'll guide you along doing that as well, okay, on what some things you can start to do to kind of keep your vibration high because it's not just about outside, it's about inside because whatever is happening on the outside is what is going on within you in the inside. So that imbalance is like reflecting. So you're gonna have to do that shadow work. You're gonna have to do that inner work so that your outside can be as your inner side is. If you want positivity and success and all this good you know, vibration to come in or to reflect on the outside, you cannot uh, not do the inner work. It doesn't work like that. And even though you could do this, this might work for so long because you've not done the inner work. It's going to do what it's going to do. But because you haven't dealt with you on the inside, it's going to always keep circling back around and affecting you in some type of way. Okay, so I want y'all to understand that. So again, if you want spiritual bath and some other things you know i am you know send me a donation email me let me know you did and i'll be happy to email that for you and guide you along you know that path of of doing things okay uh because as i said i've already had you know my spiritual i know who i am i don't have to prove that to anybody okay <clears throat> i'm not only i i not only do tarot readings i do uh, the Yoruba tradition, that you know, Ifa tradition, and these are the African seven African powers I decided to bring out today and uh, let y'all see because this is really what you're trying to master. You're trying to get these right here, seven African powers, okay? You know, in tarot, we might call it the magician. <clears throat> I forgot I got to put my... <clears throat> my... Uh, fizzy energy stick that's vegan safe and drink this i've been drinking water more and my mind health that keeps me clear because you know y'all minds be going a mile a minute so y'all want that that'll be down in the link too this will this will keep you so calm and your energy will be on point i'm telling you you won't even need caffeine red bulls and none of that crap this is all natural this is natural stuff uh but anyway the seven african powers is about you manifesting that you know, so I've had the reading, you know, with my Baba <clears throat> to show 
you know, what what was my life purpose and what I was supposed to be doing, which I guess brings me here today, <laughs> you know, because I'm about guiding, spiritually guiding people because I am in tune with the ancients, you know, the ancient knowledge and wisdom and understanding. So I just wanted to, you know, kind of give you guys, you know, that kind of clarity on who I am, you know, that I know I don't have to question. I didn't just pick this up, you know, this is like, this is me. This is who I am. <clears throat> As you can see, by all the ancient <laughs> knowledge and wisdom I have right here. But, uh, um, I'll shake that up. This is my feel good juice. That's water. As y'all can see, you put it in water, eight ounces, six to eight ounces. This is a little bit more because I got two packs, but I had drink this much water, clear water. When I get down here, I, I put my little rest of it in and you can sip on it all day or you can kind of, you know, uh, finish it all at one time. And then you've gotten your 900 mLs of water in, in the morning before 12. And then I finish up like three, between three and six, maybe seven with two more bottles, which are actually four bottles because the Orzorka is 16 ounces, 16 fluid ounces, I think. So that's like two glasses of water in one bottle. So you're getting four more. So then you're getting your water for the day. Which as a nurse, I was horrible at water. But this helps me drink more water because of the flavor. So I'm able to get more water in. So I'm happy about that. That was a new habit I got. So that I'm, 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 I'm ecstatic. But I'm going to get to y'all reading because I want to uh, let y'all know what's going to be moving forward for you. And that you don't have anything to worry about. You know, you don't have anything to worry about. So, with that said, let's get on with it. Ancestor, Spirit, Source, Energy. Give us an affirmation on the reading for Pisces for yesterday, the 16th through the 31st, March 2020. That was the Knight of Wands that just fell out. The Knight of Wands is taking action, see? Moving passionately and confidently. Ooh, ooh, look at y'all with all this fire. Man, y'all on fire. Woo, y'all are on fire, 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 baby. I got something for y'all too. I got something for y'all. That's just one card. I'll deal with the one. I'll deal with one falling, but God dang it, I ain't gonna deal with y'all throwing books at me now. Four of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit Source Energy. Clarify affirmation for our Pisces. Oh, we want these. What say you, spirit source energy? Mm. 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 Yeah, we're going to take those and move my, some of my stuff up a little bit. Wow. Wow, y'all are looking good, Pisces. Y'all are looking good. That little bit of Palo Santo yesterday. Palo Santo, and that'll do it. I ain't gonna kid you. Look at there. Tower moment. Y'all underlying energy. Tower freaking moment. What did I tell y'all yesterday? What did I tell y'all yesterday about that tower moment? Y'all have one, and y'all didn't even probably realize that's what was going on. And there's your proof again, your affirmation. You had a freaking tower moment that changed every damn thing for you. Seven of Wands. You were fighting off. Ooh, y'all, come on now. Y'all finna get the hook up. Y'all finna get the hook up today from the Empress. From the Empress. Okay, your overall energy is your will of fortune. Like I said, it's destiny, it's fate. Is you know you got good luck coming, you got opportunities coming. Look at that sun. That's your that's your solar plexus energy. Okay, that's the solar plexus energy. That's this citrine. Excuse me, citrine or yellow adventuring. You can get that, and that deals with your solar plexus that is right above the navel. Like right up in here is below the heart chakra, but it sits like right up in here. And that booger is for creativity. 
that is that booger there gets you going okay and that is all in this card sun energy of course like i said i'm a reiki master too so i'm gonna help y'all out with this one and show y'all what to get to keep things going and flowing for y'all because y'all finna come into some uh y'all finna come into some wealth prosperity and abundance i feel it i feel it for you pisces and i want it for you because i i really truly understand about energy and how people try to manipulate shit to block you because their life is pitiful i already know baby i already know so you're dealing with your solar plexus a little bit of root chakra so y'all might have to do a little bit of root chakra too to keep you grounded because you know your root chakra deals with your security and being safe okay and feeling safe and with that you have your red jasper and our patient gave me this years ago because i'm a i'm a home health nurse too i'm a nurse of 20 some years so uh a patient gave me that this is red jasper that deals with the root chakra okay so get you one of these get you the citrine okay this is what a patient made for me when it's a, like a little belt buckle or tie or whatever because he used to make these and i just kept for all these years uh but red jasper deals with the root and like i said some citrine citrine deals with your solar plexus because you're dealing with the color right the yellow and then you're dealing with the red like the fire or the passion right okay so that is your will of fortune you got some stuff coming and then you're following in uh with the hangman's that you know the delays have been removed like this is your past it has been removed it's out of there you're you've let go old patterns don't pick those patterns back up don't miss this opportunity don't even feed the freaking ego don't even try it don't even try it keep moving forward you're doing good you're on the right path and then like i said coming in with the knight of wands and with the knight of wands you know you're taking action you know you're confident now because you've gotten past this you know you've let go so your confidence is going to start coming back and you got passion here you got creativity here with the wands use it use it okay then the Knight of Cups, emotional fulfillment. Your night is coming. A, a message is coming. Didn't I tell y'all yesterday something was coming? Something, a message is coming to y'all. This, this uh, night is bringing in that emotional fulfillment for you. Bringing in, you know, like, you know, giving you all that you need. And that's creativity also with the cups as well as intuition. So follow your intuition, okay, on this Knight of Cups. When you get this message, you know, you may be taking a trip. You may be going somewhere. You know, follow it. You know, follow it. This night's holding it up like, yay. I got this. Feeling all confident. And then you're coming in with, look at these three cards. These next three cards. Let me put these down. These next three cards got so much fire and, and sun in this, this, this sucker. They don't even make no sense. Coming in with the queen of wands. With the queen of wands, remember, you know, this, this energy here is like, you sitting in your power now. You're like, okay, I got this shit. I'm finna handle up on this. I already know. It been, it been affirmed. You follow your path. Follow your intuition, okay? You're the queen. You got joy. You know, you're going you gonna to be at a social gathering and you're going to, you know, this flame, yo, you're going to be just glow. You're going to be glowing like the sun, like this bright, okay? Look at this. Let me show y'all so you can really... Y'all don't see that balance right there? You don't see that? Look at them colors. Look at them freaking colors right there. What what I tell y'all? What did I tell you? I told you yesterday you might want to go back and look at it again. The uh, Pisces uh, video, the 16th through the 17th, about the spell, not to scare you. Because, you know, your spells, energy can be bent in your favor. So that's one thing you got to know. It can, oh, it can be, oh, oh, believe it, it can be bent. And it, you just got to know how to work with energy. You know, you just got to know what to do. So, you know, you coming in, you finna be in a, in a social meeting. You put yourself out there. Maybe you're going to get back out there, you know, go to some meetup groups and network and market or whatever your interest in that you're trying to, uh, you know, follow your path on. You might need to start networking. You know, I'm not saying party because I don't like to do that, you know, because that's tiring and that's too much damn negative energy to be dealing with. For me, it is. 
but I'm saying get yourself out there in, in reasonable hour time, you know, go to some groups, talk to people more or be in the line at the grocery store and just talk in the, while you checking out or, you know, whatever the case may be, right? You just want to get yourself out there and meet people because you're about to meet somebody. You're about to meet somebody that's going to bring you that night of cups, you know, that message or that, that adventurous that you're looking for, that adventure, that spontaneity, right? So then you're coming in with, after the Queen of Wands, you got the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is about, you know, security. So now you're feeling security. You know, this could be like a secret in a relationship. If there was a relationship, if, if you are in one with you or your person, yes, somebody's keeping something a secret. A pinnacle or you're guarding it. You're guarding it because it's sacred. So it could go, you know, I could see this different you know, different ways right now. But at the same time, it's about security because pinnacles are about your financial foundation, your financial stability, your independence. Okay. And you want that. You've been, you've been just manifesting that and searching for that. And then you're coming in with the two of swords being guarded, you know, indecision, you know, or going within. I see it as going within for this reading, not you know, guarded in a say, in a sense, but that you're going within, you're, you're following your intuition now. So swords is like communication, your thought, your actions, making sure everything line up. And when it doesn't go within, go within and divide that shit, divide the truth. Swords is about bringing the truth to the heart of the matter. Okay. So bring the freaking truth, bring it. Okay. Against anybody that want to test you, bring it. Bring it on. I dare you. Bring it on. You're going to definitely walk away confident. <laughs> but like I said, here it is, the four of wands. Did I not yesterday say they was trying to keep you from being happy, from getting your abundance, from getting that new beginning in love, that ace, that, uh, ace of cups you had yesterday? New beginning, new love. Look at it. Came back to tell you it's yours. Came back, look at there, look at that happy life. And them rabbits represent, if you look at animal totems like I do sometimes, if they stand out, rabbits definitely uh, symbolize fertility. And y'all had the empress, I believe, yesterday in the reading as well. So that was fertility too. So you see how it's coming together. Then you got this even balance. Like y'all y'all are, you, you between two wands, two wands each, four wands, right? That means balance, 11-11. Look at the circle above. Look at that. Look at that union above. And this dragonfly is dragonfly. Excuse me. Is accelerated learning. Accelerated, you know, uh, growth. This is when the ancestors really step in. Dragonflies move fast. That's like shh, they gone. They'll take off so quick you'll see whoop, they gone. So it's accelerated. So this you about to do this in an accelerated speed. You finna, ha you finna have your happiness. M muck what everybody else say. They're not even important. You can't. These are two individuals that are balanced with their feminine and masculine hemispheres. He has two, you have two, and then you have the circle over both of you representing the oneness. So you and your person are about to get it on. Yeah, y'all about to get it on with all this fire and this passion. I already know. But at the same time, you're balanced. Your life is balanced now. And you have fertility and abundance coming to you. Because we know rabbits be getting it. They be popping them babies out left and right. So if y'all don't want no babies, I done told y'all, you better do what you're supposed to do to not get these babies. Else you might be getting up on some, some little mini-me's up in this picture too. Okay. Could be twins. Look at there. You already got one. Look at there. You got two little rabbits. Uh-huh. Don't mess around here and have no twins. I'm just saying. Y'all let me know if it resonates with y'all down below in the comment section. Notify, hit that subscribe button, and hit your girl back, okay? Because I want some no. Mm-hmm. Don't be going out there making no babies if you ain't ready for them. <laughs> Better use you some protection. <laughs> and then look at your chariot coming. <laughs> I told y'all, y'all are moving forward with the victory. Your ch look at this. Do y'all see this, Pisces? Do you, the, the spell was broken yesterday, okay? It was broken. You are on your way 
You are on your way to happiness. You have overcame. You got the willpower to go on your journey with your confidence in a positive direction. So, yes, it's about to go down. Yeah, it's about to go down. All this fire ain't up in this dang on the sun and this fire ain't up in this reading for nothing. You about to get the victory. You about to, you about to be like, okay, this is it. I'm moving. This is my moment. I'm moving forward. I done overcame all they day on obstacles, whatever they tried to put in my way, you know, try to, try to subdue me with all these old patterns, but I let them go with this hangman. I said, uh, they don't serve me no more. So bye. Mm -mm. They ain't, they ain't working out for my benefit. Why am I, why am I holding on to it? That shit ain't serving me. It ain't serving my higher self. See, whenever you're on your destiny or your journey or your spiritual journey or whatever kind of journey y'all want to call it or title it, you got to be willing to let these suckers go. Places, things that don't serve you, if you ain't got a benefit, if it ain't serving your higher self, if it ain't helping you reach your higher self, if it's not challenging you to reach your higher self, cut the shit out. That little meme said, let shit go. Okay. Just note to yourself, let shit go. Okay. Just let it go because it's weighing you down. It's literally weighing you down. And your, your, your this tower moment, it, it, it manifest, it brought all of this forward because your attention needs to be on you now. Your attention had to be you had to come back into the remembrance of what had happened because so much stuff happened. It sting us and we kind of go like, oh, I'm here, but I'm not. And I'm just tired and I can't see straight. I can't think straight. But see, it had to give you that little like, okay, do you remember when? Now look at you. Now look where you at. Uh -oh. You're at this, you're at this, uh, oh gosh, you're at this victory. Don't give up now. You right there. You right there. Keep moving forward. Your victory is right there. And you got balance. Look at that. Look at that. Boy, look at that. I can almost say that's gold and that's silver with the chariot. You know, because this is gold and it's got this little gray, but gray is like silver to me. Right? So you're going to be just prosperous. And you got the sun up here. Look at you sitting up there on a chariot. Being whisked away. Puh. Get out of here. Doesn't matter if you are he or she because cars don't have nothing to do with no sex agenda. But if you are he or she, if you're single, it doesn't even matter. If you are Pisces is what matters. If, if you got Pisces in your chart, your son, I don't even know if I said that at the beginning because my thing got kept cutting off before. But if this relate to you, resonate with you, that's good. If it doesn't, that's fine. This is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, cuspers. Cross watchers, it's timeless. So whenever you get it, Pisces, it's for you. So I apologize I didn't say that at first because the iPad rung and it cut off my two videos before. And I kind of got wanted to get into the reading. But anyway, this you got you got balance coming. Yeah, you're gonna feel, ooh, you're gonna feel like, yeah. You're gonna feel all kind of some type of way good with this chariot. You know, the confidence, you know, the willpower, you know. You're going to have your, it's going to just feed you to just, you know, keep moving in a positive direction in your life. You know, that sun above you is guiding you. Like I told you, look at that sun. I'm telling you, the sun is guiding you. Don't lose sight of it. Then you come over here in the last two that fell. The spirit want, energy wanted me to keep these was the fool. Come on now. You got the fool like for new beginnings, just like yesterday with the ace of cups. You on your way, all that baggage is dropped off. You released all that with the hangman. And then you got the three of cups. You finna to celebrate, boo-boo. You finna find your happiness. You finna to celebrate. It's going to be a celebration. You're going to go to a party. Y'all going to toast and cheer and, you know, whatever. Whatever. Whatever is whatever. But I'm telling you, it's coming. And this ain't the third party like it's, you know... Some other woman, like this is three women. No, this is a celebration. This is a feminine energy celebration. Taking back my goddamn power, bitch. 
and my control over my life. Stand in your power. Queens, goddesses, high priestesses, empresses, you know, women, stand in your power. Don't let nobody take your power and manipulate you with it. You take that shit back. You know, and I like to say I call all my power back to me. And I send your, your, your energy back to you. That'll get them every time. Oh, I forgot about my detox tea. I got to squeeze all this in. This tea actually detox all your organs. From Arbon, the link will be below if y'all want some. But it's best to become a uh, preferred customer for twenty nine dollars a year, and then you can get whatever's on that catalog, you know, for your discount instead of paying that, you know, ten ten or so dollars extra. Okay. I told y'all you got to balance out your inside with your outside. You got to. You cannot neglect the inside. I promise you, you can't. You can't. You can't afford to. No kind of way. Okay. So, we got... Let me just see what's up. Look at this. What did I tell y'all? God damn it. Look at that. Pisces, boo. The spell is off for you because of yesterday. Because I picked up on that dark energy. And I think I said negativity in the wrong tense yesterday so forgive me again because i get excited sometimes and i just be gone because it just tunnels to me but i caught it when i heard when i played it back so spells are negative energy or influences around you to block you that's all it's just energy it's, it's energy travels when you understand words thoughts are energy it travels yes it's what you believe but at the same time, somebody else's energy directed to you can cause an obstacle, can cause a blockage. Your own thoughts can cause a blockage or an obstacle. We call that, I think, self-sabotage. When you self-sabotage your own self, being in your head with your own thoughts, you know, going around and around and around with yourself. Okay, that doesn't matter if you're spiritual or not that somebody else's energy through words or thinking something negative about you does not come to you yes it does come to you because energy travels it's a frequency it's a vibration right and it goes and words have power okay and when they put the feeling behind it that just gives it more power so if you've ever experienced psychic attacks, then you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's all energy, no doubt. But you still got to understand energy and how energy works. Energy is, period. Period. But where does it come? Energy is, goddammit. Don't question that. Energy just fucking is. It cannot be destroyed and it cannot be created. Energy is whatever that person say that energy is. If it's negative, they want to send out. Is negativity they gonna send out? If it's good, they want to send out. If it's good, they gonna send out. But at the same time, when it hits your doorstep, you better know what to do with it. You better recognize that thought is not your thought. Whatever pop in your head is not yours. You need to know yourself in order to determine that. That's why it's so important to be in tune with yourself. Not be so weighed down and toxic in the inside that you cannot determine your thoughts from somebody else's thoughts. Trying to implant or infiltrate, you know, or invade your mindset. Or manipulate your mindset. Even babas, even spiritual teachers have to do this. We have to do this. We don't have a choice because we, we know what energy is. We know the power of energy. Spirit, we know that power. We know what it can do from somebody thinking ill about you or jealous or manipulative or hateful or envious and shit like that. We already fucking know. You better trust I fucking know. Don't fuck with me. Because you ain't seen nothing like this, chick, this, this thing right here. I got something for your ass and I ain't gonna even have to fucking touch you. Trust that. I done been through every level. 
got my initiation done, fucking graduated. Else I wouldn't even be here right now. So this one ain't the one to play with. I got these right here. You see the little seven African powers right there? You see the ancient ones right there? Try them motherfuckers if you want to. You gonna think you gonna have a goddamn nightmare. You gonna be living that motherfucker. For real. But look what y'all got. So don't be scared. Because like I said, energy just, energy just learn. Be willing to learn and be open-minded. I'm just a guide. Because I done been there. And I'm called by a higher purpose, a higher standard. I am. And I got to do what they entrust me to do, period. No matter who like it or not. I don't care because you know what? It ain't about your ass any goddamn way. It's about my ancestors. It's about my spirit guides. It's about my source. Hell, it ain't even about me. It's about serving what? The higher power. The creator. This little low bullshit down here on this sixth uh, physical plane ain't shit. Energy gonna move to what? Something else. When your body gone, it's gonna be in a squirrel. It's gonna be in a tree. It's gonna be in a car. It's gonna be in these cards. It's gonna be in these bracelets. It's going to transform. Y'all better go back and watch Transformers. Shit. I got to give y'all all these movies to try to help y'all understand what energy doing because they telling you in these damn movies and you ain't paying attention. Go watch Lucy too while you're at it. And go watch Interstellar because all that's about energy crossing spirit, uh, crossing space and time. How energy transforms into matter. This is matter. This is earth. This is material, physical material. This is physical material. This is physical material. This singing bowl is physical material. All came from energy. Did not somebody's energy go into producing it? Did not. Did not somebody's energy go into creating this? They time, they effort, they talent, they mind, eye. The vision, the dream, get the fuck out of here. Y'all better leave. Don't get me hot. God damn. My ancestors are ruthless. I don't play. When it comes to this shit here, this spiritual shit, I'm as serious as they probably fucking come because I will cut your goddamn throat. Literally. With the truth. With the truth. I break spells for an honest living in my eye. That's what I tell. What they what, what what you do? I break spells for an honest living in my eye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause I'ma always be true to me. Over you. And y'all better learn it too. Because this is your path. Nobody can dictate your path. Nobody can walk your path but you. Your physical body that you're in right now came with a mission that only you can graduate from. I can't graduate for you. You can't graduate for me. So why are you worried about other people? That's not the way this work. And when you find somebody not fitting your higher purpose or not serving your benefiting your higher purpose, let the motherfuckers go. Like I said, yes, they remove your ass from the equation. Because that's, huh, that's the best fix you can fix, goddammit, if you want to do a spell. That joker will hurt their ass to the fucking core for a long goddamn time. Because that's one spell only you can break. Do you hear me? Do y'all hear me? Do I got to put my face up in this damn camera? Where the camera at? Right there. 
Do y'all hear me? If you got to get a restraining order or whatever you got to get to keep a motherfucker away, you do that. But I'm going to tell you that sage going to work when you burn that sage and you do it right. They going to keep all that negativity away. And whoever was bringing it. Trust me, I know. Trust me. Matter of fact, you ain't got to trust me. Trust your goddamn self. I ain't nobody. You know, I'm just me. Doing the work of my ancestors. Doing the work to serve people, to serve others, to help others. You know, and I, yeah, I do, you know, I do uh, get rowdy sometimes, but that's because that's my passion for helping people. That's my passion for helping people, you know, and stuff. Because I want to help. I desire to help. You know, and I come here to help and guide. And I'm okay with that. So I'm okay if you... If you want it or you don't, or if you bite it, if you, I don't care. Because you know what? My slate is clean. I came and did what I was supposed to do, and I delivered the message that I was supposed to deliver. So guess who's going to sleep at night? This one right here. So that's the same thing you need to be worried about, you sleeping at night. That you going to bed knowing you did all you can do to serve another. Not just about serving yourself. But yeah, it's about self-care. But not being greedy or stingy. But about self-care. And self-care and self-love is about sharing with others. And, and, and if you love, truly love someone, you share knowledge. That can help them reach their higher self. Or that can guide them toward, you know, understanding their higher self. And challenging their higher self to do better you know that's what this is about you know it is not it's not about nothing else you know so y'all have to understand but y'all got it back back to you yeah I, I, it's it's a wrap that's all i'm gonna say it's a wrap that's all i'm gonna say y'all got it going on Look at there. Your love was card. Look at there. Look at there. Going on a new journey, celebrating with your new level. <laughs> your new beginning. I love it, Pisces. Y'all, y'all done did it. Y'all done did it. Keep going. And if you want the spiritual bath, like I said, information and a little bit of extra uh, that I can do for you. Um... I will, you know, send me a donation to one of my payments down there and I will help y'all out, you know, as best I can and kind of guide you some more, you know, in the right direction. What advice do you have, Spirit? Ooh, there's one that flipped over. Spirit Source Energy. Thank you, Spirit Source Energy. What affirmation, confirmation do you have? For Pisces, what guidance? Ooh, I'm loving this reading. Oh, that one's stuck down there. Okay, we're going to do four. We're going to do our four. Okay, let me get these in order here. That one. I know it's something good under here. I just know it. I feel it. I feel it. I freaking feel it. Go sit down. Hi, hi, baby. Go sit down. Let Granny do this. Okay, flame of love. Excuse me, I was my grandbabies. Uh, flame of love. Ooh, look at that. But I tell y'all, all the infinite power and love within you to radiate unconditionally in all directions. Just like the sun. Like I said, just like the sun. Okay. Uh, yet stand tall in your sense of self. And in your own truth, the healing power of love will help you burn through all illusion and you will discover new possibilities. This is a powerful time of transformation, ideas, and creativity. Like I said, the sun, creativity. Like I said, the solar plexus, just like I said, okay? So, yeah, you go after that new love. You know what I'm saying? 
that's your beginning. That's going to heal you. You're going to choose better. You're going to be better. You're going to do better. You're going because you've broken those old patterns. And when you come to question those old patterns, you need you need to say, hey, "Wait a minute, is this my uh, is this my old me uh, trying to sneak back in here and do you know trick me, or is this a new me?" So look at who you choosing. You see them red flags, you better run. Because you will be tested. It's not going to say you're not going to be tested because you graduated. It's just saying, you know, be aware. And that's why you need to be in tune with yourself. So you make sure you pass those tests. So you so you know. Because once, once you conquer those energies, those energies can't bother you no more. Don't mean they're going to try, but I'm just saying they ain't going to be able to... Uh, yeah. They're not going to be able to, um, you know, get through to you. So this one's about holiday. And this says the spirit of the ocean calls you offering healing and much needed peace. Come to the water and connect with its endless flow of magic. You need a change of scenery. Take a holiday and all will fall into place. So y'all need a vacation. Take that vacation. Go by the beach. Go by the water. And, and just, you know, just say your... Uh, meditations to Yemiya. Yemiya, that seven after power is the goddess of prosperity too. You know, she de she deals with the ocean, the water, you know, um, that ocean life, right? And that see, that's her color right there. So that deals with uh, the Yoruba tradition, uh, goddess Yemiya, right? So you can look it up. It's Y-E-M-A-Y-A, -A, okay? That's the Ifa tradition, okay? So go by the water, take a vacation, get away, a change of scenery, do good. You might meet this new lover there, and you do very well, Mike, because you might find some kind of gathering to go to, like I said. Let yourself get free. You ain't bogged down with what's going on back home. You know, you're able to, um, you're able to kind of, you know, uh, let loose. You don't know nobody. You ain't got no worries. You left all this ruckus behind. You know, and you're in a new, you're in a new spot. If it's even in your town, go to the river wall. You know, go to, you know, the beach, of Florida, or wherever the coastline is, or wherever who got a little river or whatever. Then the alchemy card, see? And the alchemy card to me is the fool because it's dealing with all the zodiacs again. The sun is an alchemy card because it transforms, right? Right? Love transforms. See, all this is alchemy to me. Look at that, the chariot, alchemy. All that's alchemy to me. You know what I'm saying? That's alchemy because it's transforming. Even this tower moment, alchemy. Look at there, yeah, all this, look at all this help y'all got. Look at this, five major chaos and make sure it's five. And hey man, you got six. So this is divinely orchestrated for y'all. This is gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You're gonna be guided to choose the right direction and you're not even gonna know but you're going to be choosing it. But you're not even going to realize. Because it's going to happen like so fast. So passionately. So the alchemy is your inner light shines when you are at peace with yourself. See? The peace comes from you working on yourself. So you can't just expect the outside to be, you know, all glory and stay that way if you haven't done the work here. Because it's going to resurface. And it's going to reflect out on the outside. What's within going to reflect without. What's without should reflect what's within, right? That's balance, okay? So then uh, when you are at peace with yourself and the world around you, just like I've been saying, let go of the struggle and feel the beauty inside you. Allow all to be and just be you. Don't judge. Just be you and let people be them. But because you understand energy now, you know what to do. If it doesn't serve you, remove yourself from the equation. I cannot stress it enough. You will save yourself a freaking headache, okay? A migraine or whatever the heck, ailment, whatever, disease, whatever. You will save yourself. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what I know. That's all I can say. It's up to you to choose. I can't force you. I can't make you. I can't make you do a somersault. None of that shit. That's you. That's you. I'm just telling you from my experience what I know. And sometimes, we can go about our path and, and uh, escape certain tests listening to people that have been there. But at the same time, some tests we still have to go through 
But sometimes you learn by listening from others' experiences. So don't discredit other people's experience. That's not what I'm saying. And I'm not saying you have to listen to every freaking body either. But feel their energy out. Feel what they're telling you. To see if it resonates with you. That's your sign. See what your intuition is guiding you toward. If you're going to follow somebody, you make sure that person is, is challenging you to fucking grow. If that joker trying to stumble you and keep you held back, you better cut that motherfucker with a machete like goddamn Ogun over here. Right here. See that damn machete? Cut their ass. Cut them off. See, don't play with me. Told y'all I'm the real one. I'm supreme up in this motherfucker. In this bitch. I'm going to need y'all to look right here in case I made y'all mad. Thank you. But, uh, because I go off sometime. My ancestors don't play. It be my ancestors, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm just, I gotta, however they say express it, uh, look, I got free vocals right here. My chakra's open. <laughs> my throat chakra. Because <laughs> they don't care. They, they, if it, tough love sometimes is the best love used in the right way with the right intention, and I use it in the right intention because I ain't trying to offend nobody because I know churchy people out there and they don't believe in cussing, but that's them. They don't need to be on this channel. That's all I'm saying. Because if it come out, it just come out. And I'm going to keep it moving. But I'm going to ask you again. Look right there. In case I offended you. Because I'm not trying to. That's just how my ancestors operate. They don't give a boop. Okay. So emotional breakthrough. Didn't I tell y'all? Y'all finna get this lover going on. You finna get this hot, steamy passion going on with this new lover. And I don't want y'all to buckle, fold, fight it or nothing. You let go and you love. Because love is going to heal you. It's going to test. It's going to show you you've overcome that old cycle. This fool. This hangman. It's going to. This will, this will of fortune you got as overall energy. It's going to prove to you. And if you don't ever love, you won't never know you overcame that cycle. So don't be afraid to love. Girl, let loose. Let your hair down. Whatever. Whatever you got. Whatever you rocking your weave. Whatever. You know, let it down, and, and honey, you just, whoo, you free yourself because love is liberating. The only thing that heals us in this world is love. Our interaction with people, right? The right people. That's all I'm saying. Y'all just got me all hot and bothered. I'm just like, ooh, let me, whew. whatever. I'm just going to go on with this reading because y'all got me feeling some kind of happy for y'all. Emotional transformation, release, freedom. It is safe for you to express how you feel. Let it all out. Relationships deepen that. I just told y'all this. I'm just saying. The card is saying what's going on. T take out a pen and paper and you write this down. Write it down so you can see it. Your emotional breakthrough is coming with this lover. It's going to set things in track and get you back to creating and feeling confident and vibrant again. And no, it shouldn't depend on another person because you're, you, because you're the only one that can do that. But what it's showing you is that you've done the work. So now I have to reward you is what the universe is saying. It has to reward you. You've already done the inner work, the inner reflection, the working on yourself. So I got to manifest. I got to, I cannot lie. Energy cannot lie. It doesn't lie. It's a snitch like a bitch. But God damn it, it don't lie. You can read a motherfucker when they walk in the door. When they walk in a room, you can read them. But it ain't gonna lie. It's a snitch. Energy is a snitch. It tell on people before they open their mouth. You better trust that. You better get one with energy. That's what you better be getting one with. While y'all trying to get one with something else. That don't even serve you. I'm just saying. I be wrong. I'm sorry, y'all. If I offend y'all, I'm apologize, but I don't give a fuck either way it go. Because that's just me, you know. But anyway, let me read this again for y'all so y'all can take notes. Emotional transformation, release, freedom. It is safe for you to express how you feel. Let it all out. Relationships deepen as a result. Your, you know what it is? It's your energy saying your relationship with yourself deepens. That other person is a reflection of you in another form, another uh, 
what you call uh, transferable matter, like Transformer said, transfer, uh, transformable matter, transmutable. These different horoscopes that y'all are reading on and reading about is only you reading about yourself in another person. Whether that's your strength or whether that's your weakness, that person has something that you were lacking or that you, that you point out in a positive that you have or they reflect something that you don't have as a weakness and you'll be like, oh, I don't like that about him. No, because your ass don't like it about yourself. So while you reading up on boo-boo, read up on your damn self. Look, look at that person as that person being you and it'll help you understand yourself a little bit more. That's what tarots do. That's what they do. They help us understand ourselves. This is a beautiful reading, Pisces. Oh my God, y'all are on your way. Y'all better hit your girl back. Like, subscribe, share this with other Pisces, other people you know going through that's dealing with this same stuff. You know, hit your girl up, you know, get, order a private reading. I would love to help you a little bit further on your journey. You know, if you're just starting out with the spirituality journey or whatever, I would love to help you and, you know, get you going and get you on your way. You know, I, I do this out of love because out of love so I can heal. Because if I heal, you can heal. And if you can heal, I can heal. We can both heal together. And we can both serve each other with a high purpose in mind to reach our higher self. I want to reach my higher self like you want to reach your higher self. And your success is my success. My Baba always told me that. He said, your success is my success. So my success is your success. So yes, I want the best for y'all. I want y'all all to have success. Because if you have success, then I'm successful. I've done what I came here to do. And that is uplift the mindset of the people. That is to, to get you in a positive direction where you can lead and take the leadership over your own life and self-govern your own self. That is what my art is about. Self-governing your own mind. Not letting somebody manipulate and control you and pull the springs and shit. You know, like it was on Avengers where that thing said, you ain't got no strings on me. Do y'all know in that commercial, they put that in there. But when that movie came out, they took that shit out. I got it on the mean. I ain't got no strings on me. So see, self-governing, I ain't got no strings on me. Don't get mad because I freed myself. Baby, you work on freeing yourself. And I'm here just to help you free your goddamn self. Because if I free you, you going to treat me right. If you ain't got restraints and boundaries and restrictions and walls up, you're going to be free to love and spread that love to others who you come in contact with. Then we'll have a world of peace and harmony and love because everybody is on a high vibration. Now, why they don't want everybody on a high vibration? Because they want this ruckus to keep going. This chaos and commotion and destruction. They want all this damn uh, stagnation and static. They feel empowered when they can control that area, but you become empowered when you can control your own mindset. If y'all want to know where to get this shirt from, hit me back. I'll give you my uh, my uh, friend's uh, website where you can order this, the Unk Life, of course. The Unk representing life, you know, the divine feminine masculine energy, the womb, you know, all that good stuff. This is the Egyptian cross, as, as a matter of fact. Both of them can be useful. useful. They're tools. I'll break that down in another one. Maybe I'll break it down next Friday for y'all. Maybe. If the ancestors need me there. Okay. But, in other words, if y'all want to know where to get this shirt from, I'll give a shout out to my friend, you know, in the inbox. Inbox me. Make sure you let them know that I, I, uh, I am a referral. I would appreciate that. Not that he going to give me anything for it probably, but I just would like to know that I support people that support me and the people that I, I believe in their, their product or their service, then I don't mind supporting because I would expect that return uh, from them. If I supported them, I expect them to support me in some type of way, whether it's sharing my video, sending it to a friend, you know, giving me a donation or whatever have you, you know, but I don't, like I said, I don't mind supporting businesses that support me but if i supported you and you ain't supported me then i mean i ain't gonna give you no shout out or nothing you know i'm gonna i'm gonna return that motherfucking energy real quick i done told y'all don't play with your girl i'm real with the shit 
this goddamn 2020, bitch. I see perfectly fine. I keep telling y'all don't fuck. And then my birthday 420. God damn it, if y'all don't get the hell out of here. I got 320 sitting up in my birthday this year. What the hell y'all think that is? I come in this joker on a high vibration, okay? I already see. I already got the rainbow. I come up in here with the rainbow. But anyway, back to y'all crystals because I wanted to give y'all another one. Adventuring for you Piscerians. I got raw. This was a gift uh, from one of my uh, sisters uh, out there in Facebook land. And this is uh, Adventuring for Prosperity. And this is the citrine. See the yellow and green? And then the red to ground you. To, to, to not let you have that fear, but to have that security, that redness, that safety. So get you some red uh, jasper. Get you some citrine from a metaphysics store, a crystal store, look online or whatever you have you, and then get you some green adventurine. I have a green moss agate as well. That'll help y'all. And then Perdot, if y'all hadn't heard the story on Perdot, I had read on uh, that Perdot was how the Chase, the Chase uh, guy got rich. He used to keep Perdot in a bowl in his uh, J.P. Morgan Stanley. Used to keep a bowl of Perdot. And that, that's, that's what he contributed his success for. And look at him. He's a bank. Now, y'all can take that how y'all want to take it. You can Google it or whatever the hell you want to do with it. But I'm just passing it along. Okay. And like I said, if you like the mind health and the focus, the focus, the mind health and the energy fizz, that link will be below. Make sure you do the $29 a year so you can get everything that you might see that's vegan safe, which means if it's vegan safe, hell, it's, it's safe for everybody because they ain't going to eat a lot of stuff. Some of them might eat dairy or whatever, but the idea is this has 22,000 plus ingredients in it that the, the standard that they don't allow in their stuff. So that keeps it natural, you know, to the highest, you know, that they could do. So I love it. It gives you energy. Your mind is focused. Your mind ain't racing. You got clarity through your day and you got energy. You're not, you don't have, I'm a nurse as well. So you don't have the sugar drop, you know, that Red Bulls and that uh, uh, caffeine coffee do. And you don't get that crash on your blood sugar. Okay. So I'm just asking you to try. If, if you like it, fine. You can keep ordering it. And if you don't, then whatever. I'm just saying as a nurse of 23 years, this is the shit. I'm just saying. So, and then this detox tea that I'm sipping on as well to detox all your organs. That detox all your organs too. You know, because it's about balance. I can't give y'all this without giving y'all something for inside. That's just me. That's wrong. Somebody is going to be in this work, in this line of work. They got to give you the whole, not just a part or a half. They got to come with it. Not talking about nobody, but I'm just saying, if you're looking for the real, they deal with the inside as well as the outside. This deals with the energy inside and out. This, but you got to do more than cards. You got to do like eating right, drinking right, putting good things in so you get good things out. Okay. That's what this is about. That's what this is about. Okay. And like I said, I make these unk brass necklaces for whoever. They can be unisex, small, medium, and large. I design these, okay? These are 45 with the shipping and all that stuff. So these are 45. And this one's I think is a large one, but they do come in small and medium. So this is a large one. So this could just go over your head. You don't have to worry about nothing else. But um, like I said, if you want those, just email me and I'll need your information and you'll have to pay and then I'll ship it off to you, okay? Uh, and that one is for sale if someone wants it. I have like three in there for sale. That Kiana, Kiana, give me those other two um, things off of there. I'm sorry, I'm just all in y'all reading, but I might as well since I'm already an hour. But uh, then I don't have to explain nothing to you. So this is good just, you know, for balance and protection. It's, it's, it stands for eternal life. The one that was in. Yeah, this is another one too. Look in there. And this is another one, of course. See, that's the smaller one. I just wanted y'all to see the difference, if you can see, right? Oh, it's on the hanging on the thing, isn't it? Oh, I must have sold it. Oh, no, I gave it to my son. I'm sorry. It's two left. Now, see the difference in them? I just wanted y'all to see the difference. 
but that is brass. Okay, so if you like, that's just on you if you do. Uh, and like I said, these are the seven African powers. Uh, you have a tradition, religion, they call it, but I call it a tradition because it's more of a tradition versus a religion because they really have paved the way for us. I've had one of those readings from my Baba, so I already know what my, my, uh, my, what I come here to do and what I was in my past life. So nobody has to tell me who I am. I already know who I am. I'm a high priestess, spiritual healer, herbalist. That's who I am, period. You don't like it, that's you, but you can go get one and find out what you are, you know, who you are or what you are or what you was, you know, because we've been here many lifetimes. But I'm not going to hold y'all. It's neither here nor there. But uh, do get y'all those crystals. And I do want y'all to get the root one, the uh, red jasper, because the red jasper helps you with, you know, your fears, you know. And I have my chart here, my chakra chart, because like I said, I, I'm a Reiki master. So your red, some more crystals that deal with your red will be your red tiger's eye, your garnet, your ruby, your red jasper, and your hematite. So if you get those crystals, that will kind of ground you and keep you safe, okay, and, and keep you, you know, uh, focused and with confidence, okay, and, and, and it deals with the base of the spine, okay. So that's the color on on the on the uh root chakra there so uh other than that i will not hold y'all do like and subscribe do hit the comment button let me know if this resonates with you um if you want the spiritual bath again send me a ten dollar donation and i'll i'll uh send that to you you know through email or whatever uh and let you like buy your email to me i'll email it back to you so you'll always have it and they're good for the I, you can do them anytime you feel heavy but Full moons and new moons are great for spiritual baths because you'd be in line with the moon energy, right? Because that's what we're we're dealing with, that moon energy. And that was in y'all card on the Ace of Cups the other day was the moon cycle, right? The phase. Um, so you want that. You want to be in line with the moon, okay? And also, uh, hit your girl up. Hit that bell so you can keep these notifications going. I love y'all. Peace. I wish y'all all the best prosperity and abundance, Pisces. And y'all, I'm expecting y'all to hit your girl back when y'all get this money. And, and just say you were right on. You know, just you hit it, you hit it on the nail, sister. You hit it on the nail. I don't, you know, I don't you don't have to give me nothing. I'm just I want you to let me know so I know I'm helping. Because that's the only way I know I'm helping is if y'all comment back or you say you respond and we interact. That's the only way I know. Else I just got to trust the universe that that's what it's going to do because that's my intention anyway. But it just feels good when you hear that. As a nurse, we like to hear that we're healing people. We're, we're you know, you know, working, you know, people call us angels and all that. And it makes us feel like that's worthwhile, like we're doing what we're supposed to do as a, a human being. So that's all it is. It, it ain't no ego thing. I don't. I can. I can care less. I've been doing it without that all these years. So it's neither here or there for me. But it just lets you know that you know you're really helping people that out there that is seeking the help. Because I only want to deal with people that's seeking. If you're not seeking, then that's fine. Go somewhere else. You know, because I don't need you over here in my cipher. You know, in my in my uh my my junk. Because I'm only here to help those that are seeking that are seeking me and I'm seeking them. That's it. To help so that we both heal. I do so we both heal. So we all heal together. Those that are seeking and have the similar mindset that want to go further, that want to reach their higher self, their higher creator, their higher, uh, you know, their prime creator. That's all. I'm just a God. I'm just a spiritual God, spiritual teacher, spiritual mother. That's it. You know, we all on this journey. You know, but y'all coming on up, Pisces. I'm happy for y'all, and I'm glad y'all were the first one to get this bonus. Because you know what, the Pisces, everybody want to count them Pisces out, baby. You can't count the mother out. You can't count the mother out no kind of way, and that's proof. Because y'all represent it. Y'all freaking represent it. I, I am so happy. I, I, oof, I might end up giving y'all another bonus toward the end of the week. I don't even know because I'm feeling all kind of ways with y'all. I love y'all, Pisces. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for your love and support. Peace, love, and harmony.